So <clears throat> before I came, I, I I had stereotypes about everyone, every country, almost. I was in Africa, of course, because I'm black, so you see my skin. So many stereotypes, even about Moroccans, because I know them more. I always thought Europeans were more sophisticated. I thought uh, Hungarians were racist. About the, the Libyans, basically, that they are not that civilized. The South Africans, I thought, like, they are living in something like a desert, no cars, no technology. I'm here, uh, most of my friends are Muslims. I never actually thought that they follow such strict uh, re religious rules. I thought that black people were like huge and athletics, like strong, and I thought they all like listen to rap music. I thought like uh, Chinese uh, will cook the dogs and cats. I thought Chinese were all like good in math. I thought about the Pakistani guys, they may be like rude to us because uh, we have some like conflict between uh, between our countries. In Morocco, they don't consider uh, Central and East Europe to be nice people, I guess. I thought Asian people liked to study, liked everything that involves calculations and mathematics. I saw that there are so many wars in the Arabic areas. And maybe the people there are more like they're not educated, they are maybe aggressive. I was thinking that uh, in Europe, people on the street you could talk to them on the street, you could greet them on the street. My stereotype about the Moroccans were all of them smoke hush. I thought that the Arabs are all not caring about anyone. I thought all Asians are weird. The Libyans are dumb, both Libyan people especially, that they are actually not that smart with all respect, or they are just famous because they are rich, that's all. It's somehow similar to Gulf countries also. Indians, they sing, they dance a lot, uh, they watch just their movies. About Hungarian, uh, they will be just like uh, passing us or uh, not even noticing us. My stereotypes about Portuguese, that they are uh, broke and they are always late. And that stereotype, that you actually use camels as way of trumpet. Uh, and Hungarians. Uh, they warned me before I come here that they are okay, sorry for that, but they are gypsy thieves in the street. And I thought that Hungarians were really sad people. They like to party and they just like to drink. Uh, Tunisian people had a bland culture. They didn't have any diversity. I thought um, like most of the Muslims I'll meet here are gonna be kind of extreme in their way of thinking. I wouldn't have thought they would adapt the lifestyle here in Europe. Uh, in Syria, the Muslim, the Muslim killed some people, so I was afraid and I said, which kind of country is that? Uh, Arabs in general, I thought that they did not know any other language besides Arabic. The stereotype about Tunisian, that it was the whole of the black darkness thing in the planet. Like Arabs were backwards, as in they're not very open-minded about like new ideas. I thought all the Brazilians play football, and they are really good at it. Syrians are sissy, and uh, the country is that in front of it, like Jordan. So I don't know, in my mind, that was my stereotype. But when I came here, I actually found out it's wrong. It just changed my mind totally. Now I made so many friends here. From different nationalities, so really friendly. Uh, after meeting them, I told them. Yeah, perfectly normal because they are making normal food as usual but uh, with a bit some weird spices the Chinese are not all good in math actually they are really cool they are just normal as us like it's but they are rich that's this is the change they tend to have their guards up you know they don't want to let people in but like when you actually talk to them and get to know them they're very friendly uh, they were really cool they were really nice we became friends. Uh, we start like uh, sometimes going out or uh, communicate on the classes. And I had the wrong idea about them. They turned out they are very shy people and nice people actually in general. I actually kind of started, you know, being proud of being Arab. And I thought that, you know, the whole backward thing is not really true. We're very innovative. Everyone can be innovative. And I stopped judging. Arabs are more as a family and together when they are abroad 
Actually, they are more friendly and they are happy to live their life. They are almost energetic for every day. They have me a lot. I found out that they can speak French, uh, Spanish, some of them German. I have met a lot of friends from Syria and I realized also that they are not so violent people, they respect people, they are so nice. I like the way that they behave. Syrians and, and, and uh, Jordanians, and they are normal, like, uh, their dialects are a bit, uh, yeah, but uh, no. They were not as what I thought about them, I mean, they were very nice to me, and since now, they are really a nice people. After I met some of them, one of, like, especially my, my best friend, uh, it's actually different. After actually met a lot of them, they're very open. Each of them like is a very different person. They're not like you can't even label them as one at all. I understood it's really big part of their lives, and with time, I I even like stopped like drinking beer or anything. I just got assimilated with them. It, it was really nice experience, at least for me. People were um, nice towards us, even though we had head covers on. Or whatever you want to call it. And they all like the body, that's true. It's a little bit depressing country, but still good. Europeans aren't really the same. Uh, there are a lot of kinds. Someone found out that they have really amazing music, blend of colors. I, I have a Indian neighbor. They are loud actually, and they listen to music a lot. Yeah, they are nice people and cheerful. But the food is really good. Oh, then I find out it's not, it's not. I discovered that Arab people are open-minded people as they managed to teach me a lot about their culture and language. For example, Mahaba, Ana Ismi Tawanda Masaka, Alhamdulillah, Shukran Bizav, Ramakala, Shlonak Hoya, Anam Zian, Shukran Bizav. I thought that I will find people that mostly have prejudgments about me, but little did I know I was having prejudgments about them. We like to do stereotypes to just make ourselves, you know, know better. You never know who can uh, help you or uh, make you better day. Just judge people by their personality. There is no nationality, there is no race, there is no religion, there is nothing. There's just bad people and a good people. Stereotypes are fun, but you should draw a line when it comes to the situation. Use them as comedy, not as a, in a serious manner. Uh, get your facts right before you think anything good or bad about other cultures and other people. Amen. Alhamdulillah. Shukran Pazar. Chinguichi. I agree, it's cool. <clears throat> See, black and white will always... No stereotypes. Yeah. Thank you. We should love each other. Love each other, no, spread. You. No, you need to. Uh, literally, we go out every day for three hours at the balcony. Uh, we sit, we eat, we drink, we talk like until 2 a.m. about life, about the universe, and we have a really nice communication with with Chinese, with uh, Arabs, with Serbians, uh, with literally with everyone. It's such a nice uh, atmosphere. I mean, I have no words.